welcome back to the channel. And again, as today's thumbnail implies, I will be talking about how I reread Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. This is book one in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. There is five in total. Actually, if you get this box set, which I got at Walmart, I think, if you put all the books together side by side, it makes one big, like, mosaic. I thought that's a really cool feature detail thing. So yeah, grab a snack, grab a drink, and again, let's talk about it. So as the name of the title implies, this book follows Percy Jackson. He is six. He's 16 in the fifth one. <laughs> he is 12 years old, I think, in this one. 12 or 13. And his life is normal, but he's a troublemaker at school. He has dyslexia. He doesn't know why. He gets mysterious things to happen around him. Kind of like Harry Potter. to like a Harry Potter type thing. But he goes to a field trip to a museum and... One of his teachers attacks him. Turns out it's a fur it's one a fury. Why did I want to say furry? It's a fury. One of the Greek furies. And his mom sends him to a summer camp, which his mom ends up getting sent to the underworld. Um, she gets crushed by a giant. And he finds out that he is a demigod. His one of his his dad is none other than Poseidon, one of the big three in this world. And he goes to a camp called Camp Half-Blood, and he has to find out who actually stole the lightning bolt of Zeus. Because right now, Zeus thinks that Percy did it. And he gets sent on a quest by the Oracle, which lives in the attic of the, of the, of the summer camp. Which, this these books have always held a special place in my heart. I... It took me six years or so to find all five of the original ones, which my copies are so battered and bruised. So getting the Spock set was also special because I did not want to read my battered up copy because it was literally falling apart in sections. Like, it's in sections. <laughs> so, yeah. To me, these books are perfect for summer reading. Because you not only have, like, the summer camp aspect of it, you have found family trope, you have magic, mystery, traveling, like, road trip type vibes. It's hilarious. The jokes in these books are a little bit old. I mean, the books are, like, ten years old now. Which there is going to be a series on Disney+, Plus, which I cannot wait for. Cannot wait for the Disney+, Plus series. <laughs> at all. And this book, these books, they all feel very summery to me. They have those summer vibes. I know I read these every single summer since I got them. So they do have summer nostalgia for me. And I think anyone that really wants to get into reading you don't have to read for a specific age group, but if you really want to try to graduate from, like, middle grade books to young adult, these ones are perfect for that. I think Percy Jackson is that perfect bridge series if you're looking to help graduate your kid from... I don't know, middle grade books, like, let's say, what's that one everyone likes? Hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll think of the name. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Why can I not think of that? I think I was thinking of uh, Dear Dumb Diary, which is a series I read in middle, like, elementary. So, <laughs> I was thinking Dear Dumb Diary, which, those are good books, too, for girls. Dear Dumb Diary is hilarious. So, look those up, too. <laughs> But if you really want to graduate a child from, which Percy Jackson can be for girls too, because Artemis, I think is like in the third one. I haven't gotten that far again yet. But Artemis, there's such great girl in representation. There's LGBTQ representation in these books. 
these books are amazing. You get attached to the characters real quick. It's witty. It's funny. You learn a lot about Greek and Roman mythology throughout reading these series, which is how I learned a lot about the Greek and Roman mythology. And it makes it fun. It doesn't feel boring. It makes it fun, happy, adventurous. You will cry. I'm going to say it now. You will cry. There are characters you will get attached to. And they unfortunately do die. I'm not going to say who. But people crush my hearts when they passed, okay? Just saying. So, yeah. I'm going to give Percy Jackson five stars again. I still love this book. It still holds up. It is still a great adventure read for summer. Perfect for summer. And the box set of all five was on sale for like $15 when I bought it. So not even that expensive for all five books. So I would totally recommend Percy Jackson for anyone that loves a good adventure story, loves Greek mythology, and it's so such an easy, fast read as well, and it pulls you in. As soon as you read it, it pulls you in. I mean the opening lines. Da -da 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 -da. Look, I didn't want to be a half-blood. If you're reading this because you think you might be one, my advice is close this book right now. Believe whatever your lie your mom or dad told you about your birth and try to lead a normal life. Being a half-blood is dangerous. It's scary. Most of the time, it gets you killed in painful, nasty ways. If you're a normal kid reading this because you think it's fiction, great. Read on. I envy you, envy you for being able to do what none of us had ever happened. But if you recognize yourself in these pages and you feel something stirring inside, stop reading immediately. You might be one of us, and once you know that, it's only a matter of time before they sense it too, and they'll come for you. Don't say I didn't warn you. My name is Percy Jackson. It pulls you in right there. That's what pulled me in. It reminded me of Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events. If you're familiar with that series, it basically includes you, the reader, into the story. And that, I think, is amazing for any book to do. So there's also that for you. If you want a good summer read, I totally do recommend Percy Jackson. And then after you read the Olympian series, there is the Heroes of Olympus, the Trials of Apollo. And I think those all have to do with Percy in some way. So you have a lot of reading material. <laughs> And like I said, they're fast, easy reads, so it doesn't feel like you're having to read a whole lot to be caught up to enjoy it. Like with the Shadowhunter books, over here I have the Infernal Devices, and there's like 20 in the Shadowhunter series, so yeah, that's it. That's the video. <laughs> Just talking about how good Percy Jackson is. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.